One thing I'm really passionate about is helping my fellow A6300 users find their way around their camera. So in this video, I wanna give you guys five more tips uh, to make your shooting experience with the A6300 that much more fun, that much more convenient. I say five more because I've already done three videos like this before. You guys can check those out by hitting the links in the description. But for now, let's get back to today's agenda. So the first step that I want you guys to take note of is of this feature called Auto Power Off Temperature. So you may have already noticed by this point that uh, on the A6300, when you shoot in 4K, after it crosses a certain temperature, the camera automatically shuts down. Now that certain temperature obviously depends on a lot of factors, but for me, in my experience, it's generally been around the 23 or 24 minute recording mark. Now what auto power of temperature does is it pushes that temperature, basically allowing you a higher recording time. So on the third page, under the briefcase submenu, you will find this option called auto power of temperature. Once you hit on it, you will see two options, standard and high. By default, it's on standard, so now go ahead and change it to high and what that does is it essentially allows the camera to record for a bit longer, in my experience, beyond 30 minutes. If you're wondering how I'm able to record beyond 30 minutes in the first place, uh, I have another video for that, again, links in the description, but uh, this feature is something that I would not recommend you use all the time. I'm not entirely sure how safe it is. Uh, sometimes the camera can get really hot, so just do it at your own risk. All right, next up is this option called new folder. Now, if you shoot multiple events a day, you know how uh, painful or how frustrating it can get just to categorize or just to segregate the photos from the different events. Uh, using the new folder option, you can do the segregation bit inside your camera itself. So on the sixth page of the briefcase submenu, you will find this option called new folder. Each time you click this option, the camera creates a new folder on your memory card and any photo you shoot thereafter will be put on that new folder. So in the long run, it saves a lot of time. Uh, each time you're gonna shoot a new event, just press the new folder option and you are set. Next up is this feature called High ISO Noise Reduction and as you may have already guessed, what this feature or option does is it gets rid of some of the noise uh, in your photos when you shoot at higher ISOs. Now the A6300 is obviously a pretty good low light shooter to begin with, so uh, I only see noise when I'm shooting at like 3200 or higher than that, so that's uh, it's only during that uh, situation that I use this high ISO noise reduction option. So uh, it's not a huge, huge difference. Uh, here are some photos uh, that I shot with and without high ISO noise reduction. It's not a massive, massive difference, but it definitely helps. Uh, this feature is on the sixth page of the first sub menu. You know the weird sound that the camera makes each time you press the recording button? Yeah, that one. Uh, it sounds very Chinese and I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, but to be honest, it doesn't really bother me that much. But if it does bother you or if for whatever reason you just want to shut it down altogether, uh, this next option allows you to do just that. Go into the first page under the briefcase submenu. Uh, there you will see an option called audio signals. Click on it and press off. That's it. You've got rid of the Chinese sound effect. Last but not least, I want you guys, especially you portrait shooters out there, uh, to check out this feature called soft skin object or something. Essentially what it does is it decreases the clarity a little bit on your photos and smoothes the skin out. It's kind of like a beauty filter that you see on Xiaomi phones. Uh, of course, you can always do this in post, but if for whatever reason you wanna, you know, smoothen out the skin on your model's face, uh, you can use this feature. I promise I have never used it. Maybe, maybe once to show you guys the difference, but that's about it. I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't really do portraits that much, but if you shoot portraits, I suppose you can uh, find uh, a use case scenario for this feature. But that's wrap for this one. If you are an A6300 shooter, and if this is your first time on this channel, I highly, highly recommend you subscribe. I love this camera and I keep making videos about it from time to time, so I'm sure you'll enjoy the content. I've also made several videos before this, so all of that stuff will be linked below check it out. Uh, if you like this one, give it a like. If you did not, vote it down. Let me know in the comments why you didn't like it. It's been Suraj. Thanks so much for watching. Take it easy and stay devoted.